Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying another amazing day on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The goal of our time today is to help us know Jesus a little better so that we can live like him just a little more. This week, we're thinking about how our relationship with Jesus affects the relationships that we have with other people. So far this week, we've seen Jesus hanging out with a man who had leprosy and another man who was paralyzed. These are people who are outcasts in his society, but Jesus spent time with them anyway. They may not have mattered to anyone else, but they mattered to Jesus. Today, I want you to see again how Jesus hangs out with a different kind of crowd. In Mark chapter 2, verses 15 to 17, we read this. While Jesus was having dinner at Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the teachers of the law, who were Pharisees, saw him eating with sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. In their world, there were bad people, and then there were tax collectors and sinners. These guys were the worst of the bad boys, and Jesus is actually eating dinner with them. People didn't just notice what Jesus was doing. They talked about him in a degrading way for what he was doing. And I think that this is why most people are reluctant to eat with the kind of people that Jesus ate with. We care more about being liked by others than we care about showing love to others. We so want people to respect us that we reject people because we think they may somehow tarnish our reputation. Not Jesus. Jesus was more interested in showing love to others than being liked by others. And I hope the same is true for you. As we wrap it up today, I want to encourage you to spend a minute talking to Jesus about his love for the quote-unquote unlovable people. Ask him to help you love people who are nothing like you. Ask him to make you into the kind of man or the kind of woman who cares more about loving people than being liked by people. Now that you know Jesus a little better, I hope that you will live like him a little more. 